Hello, our trip for today is changing the engine oil of Mitsubishi Mirage G4. Changing oil is actually easy, but requires physical effort and correct tools. We will be using a jack to elevate the front side of the car. You can also use the jack that is included in your car. In my case, I invested in a hydraulic jack and had my father fabricate me a pair of jack stands. Be sure to have your hand brake engaged so that the car will not move backwards. Place your jack stands underneath the strongest part of the body. Retain the hydraulic jack for extra protection. Do the same thing at the other side of the car. Removing the wheel is optional. I am doing this because I have other things to inspect, and I am going to use this as my entry point later. I can also use the wheel as added protection. This is my improvised catch basin for the used oil, a box and two layers of garbage bags, so that it is easy to dispose. Now let's pop up the hood so we can get onto the oil filter. The oil filter is located to the front of the engine. The space is cramped, but you can access it by hand and the oil filter wrench. This slot here is where the oil from the oil filter will drip, so we will position our catch basin under here. Since the space is cramped for doing video, I will demo the oil filter removal using this new replacement oil, filter, and the oil filter wrench. I am using this adjustable oil filter wrench instead of a one size socket. Insert the wrench into the oil filter, and then tighten it at the left side so that it will lock when the torque is be applied counterclockwise. When the oil filter is loosened, you can remove it by hand. Again, counterclockwise. Do not remove it all the way because some oil will begin to spill. Then gently remove the oil filter, there will be some more oil, that will spill so be cautious. Wipe the plate off of excess oil with a paper towel. This is what the oil filter chamber looks like. Let's compare the sizes of the old and new oil filter. Make sure they are identical. I will put the part number in the description below. The oil that I am using is Asen Green Tech Plus SA0W20 for economy cars. I will be using a small amount that I can apply on the oil filter.
apply a very thin film of new oil onto the rubber seal of the oil filter. Gently screw in the oil filter back to the engine, do it by hand only. Tighten the oil filter as tight as you can only by hand. Don't worry, the oiled rubber seal will keep the oil from spilling. Remove again the excess oil. There must not be oil dripping from here onwards. Let's now remove the oil fill cap. You may need to use pliers to remove this. Remove it in counterclockwise direction. Clean the cap, then put it back again without tightening it. We need to do this so that the oil will spill completely and easily below because atmospheric pressure will come into the engine. Move the catch basin to the position of the oil drain plug. You will need a 17mm socket, a breaker bar, or a torque wrench, to loosen the plug, in counterclockwise direction. Be careful not to drop the plug, when it comes all the way out. Let the oil spill for as long as you can. While the oil is dripping, we can do other things like cleaning the plug. After several minutes, I can still see some drippings. Put back the plug. Wipe away the excess oil on the oil pan. Then use a torque wrench to tighten the plug correctly.
Let's check the dip stick for oil residue. It's clean, meaning the oil pan is almost totally empty, which is good. I am using an improvised funnel made of plastic water bottle. To avoid spilling the new oil, be sure to orient it in the correct position. Mirage G4 needs 3 liters of oil. So we are putting 3 bottles of oil with 1 liter each. Let's check the new oil level. It should be between the two dots, but we can see here that it's above the upper dot. That's fine, because it has not yet filled up the oil filter with 200 milliliters of oil, which the engine will do once we start it. Let's now start the engine. The oil symbol will light up for a few seconds together, with a clacking noise. It will turn off once enough oil circulates the entire engine. You can see here that my car's mileage is almost 132,000 kilometers already. I use Trip B to record the mileage in between oil changes. While the engine is running for 5 to 10 minutes, check for oil drippings. There must be none. Do a test drive for a few kilometers, and try to feel the engine response, and hear out for unusual noises. So far, my car's response feels new again. That's it. You now know how to change your engine oil. Thank you for watching.